Hello viewers and welcome to this series on laboratory measurement in highway engineering. Ductility of a material is the property by virtue of which it can be pulled without breaking apart. The bituminous binder used in road construction should be ductile such that it can take up the deflections that occur in them. In this program, we shall see as how do we measure ductility of a bitumen sample. For this, we need a ductility apparatus. This consists of a rectangular tank that is provided with a copper or steel liner sheet. It has a built in heater for use in winters. A pump to circulate the water for maintaining uniform temperature. The machine has a clutch to select appropriate speed during testing. To prepare the specimen, we need a briquette mold. The briquette mold is made of brass material. It has a base plate two clips and two sides. The clips have holes one for the fixed end and the other for moving end while placed in the machine during testing. We would require three number of such briquette molds. The dimensions of the briquette mold are as shown. We also need a thermometer or a temperature indicator in order to measure the temperature of water in the ductility apparatus. To prepare the sample, heat the bitumen to a temperature about 75 to 100 degrees centigrade above the approximate softening point. Prepare a mixture of equal parts of glycerin and dextrin. Apply the mixture to the surface of the plate and interior of the sides of the mold. This is done to prevent sticking of bitumen to the surface.
now pour the heated bitumen into the mold. Fill all the molds allow it to cool in air for about 30 to 40 minutes. Then keep the assembly along with the sample in water bath maintained at 27 degree centigrade for a period of about half an hour. Now let us see how we test the specimen such prepared. Remove the sides of the mold and secure the assembly in the machine. Check that the pointer should read 0 or alternatively note down the initial reading. Now switch on the machine and put it to appropriate gear such that it runs at a speed of 50 mm per minute, while one end remain fixed, the other is pulled apart. Observe the sample and note the distance at which the bitumen thread of specimen breaks. Note down the value for all the three samples. The mean of the three readings observed to the nearest whole number is the ductility value of the sample.
if the specimen does not break up to a distance of 75 centimeters, the machine may be stopped and the ductility value reported as greater than 75 centimeters. The ductility of bitumen depends on its grade. Bureau of Indian Standard has specified minimum value of ductility for different grades. Comparing the observed value on this chart, we can determine as whether the bitumen meets the specifications. In this case, we have found out the ductility value to be 76.4 centimeters and the grade of bitumen used is S 65. So, we can conclude that this sample meets the criteria of ductility. Similarly, we can conduct other tests on bitumen to obtain overall quality of it. Thank you and goodbye.